Hello YouTube. Um, so I've recently gotten into working on my NES again and I figured I would do a video on how to disassemble your NES console. Uh, I'm just going to go in and, and bend the pins on the connector back. So basically all you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and some bathroom cups to hold the screws in. And first thing you want to do is make sure there's no game in it. Take that out. Then, so what you do is you flip it upside down, and you'll see the screw holes here. Uh, you don't take these two out; those are just to hold the connector thing in. Take these screws out. That over here. <clears throat> Get these little screws out. Okay, now you'll see this big metal shielding here, RF shielding. You gotta take all these screws out, including this one here, this, this and all around there so let's do that now now that you got those screws removed this will come right out Just set that aside and now you have this mechanism it's held in by four screws two there two there you're going to want to take those out because right here is a connector that is the main problem on these consoles. The little, uh, hold on. See, the, you can see the actual connectors right there. I need to go in there and bend every one of those things up. And I want to get as much room as I can around them to use uh, this little tool here that I made. I was watching a video about how to do this. So I'm going to get in there and just try to bend these all up. But since I'm doing a demonstration to totally take this apart, I'm going to just show you how to get this off without breaking it. And it's also important to use the right kind of screwdriver for this very reason right here. As you can see, the head is kind of stripped out. Because I've taken this apart so many times that it's, it's, it's just like gotten it stripped out pretty bad. In fact, this one here, I didn't even bother screwing all the way because it was getting so hard to screw in and it's getting stripped. Okay, I had to get a little pair of pliers and get that screwdriver screw out. Uh, the, the hole is stripped. We're going to have to use some plastic repair stuff and put it fix that. Um, after you take that, all the screws out, it's this black thing. It slides forward. It should slide forward. Hold on, I need both hands to do this. Slide forward. And watch out for this thing here. And then it'll just gently just pull it right off. Just like that. That's a separate thing, it comes right out. Put that over there with all the other stuff. Now you got the connector. Uh, if you want to take this connector off, you're going to have to remove the whole motherboard, which involves removing these screws here, that one, that one, and I believe that's it. Any more other screws you see in here, but I think those are the two that you take out. But I'm not going to do this for this time because I'm, all I'm going to do is get in here and straighten these pins out with this uh, tool that I made out of a paper clip. So I'm going to try and do that right now. I've never done this before so I just want to be extra careful because this is the only connector I have and I don't feel like buying a new one. So here we go. Okay, I actually found out that a, a straightened out safety pin works a lot better because uh, it can actually get in here a lot easier 
Let's pry those up. Which one? Let me see if I can zoom in here. So you can see what I'm doing. Alright, that's about the best focus I can get, but you can kind of see I'm going to get in here and pry every one of these up like that so they make contact again. Just do it very carefully, but you can see the difference. Okay, <clears throat> I have bent all the pins up, so let's put the uh, plastic thing back on and see how we do. Now just remember when you're putting this back in um, there's a tab on the underside of this plastic thing it's got to slide under the motherboard otherwise you won't be able to push it all the way down you're gonna be sitting here thinking what the heck why won't it go down you gotta remember that tab is underneath there you gotta push that underneath the motherboard so it locks in place and I've already done that after swearing over it for a couple seconds so let's continue Okay, another thing I wanted to point out, uh, these these silver screws here, I made a mistake last time I put this together. They go right here and right here. That's where these silver screws go. Okay, let's put this game in. Slide that in there. Okay. So now I'm just going to go take this and test it, just like it is, make sure it works okay. Fail. Alright, as you can see I'm still having some problems. So I'm going to have to go in and uh, try and bend those pins up some more. And just as a note, you don't have to remove this black thing to uh, do this. I just did that to demonstrate how to remove it in case you want to take the whole motherboard off. You're also going to want to clean your... Uh, your cartridge really well. Um, these are made of copper and they do get tarnished so you're going to want to get in there with a uh, Q-tip and polish them up till they shine like that. And hopefully you can see that but this is an example of a cartridge that needs cleaning. See all the oxidation on there? Don't, I hope you can see that. Trying to get it into the light. Well, you can see those pins are pretty dirty. Yep, right there, see? Okay, and now it works. Uh, I didn't push it down though. Sometimes it works when it's up, because if I go ahead and if I push it down, see now it's doing a stupid reset thing again. So it's not a perfect fix. I might have to go in there and disable that uh, chip in there. I forgot what the guy called it. But that involves a lot more work, and if I do do that, that'll be on another video. So, Anyway, that's how you disassemble and service your NES. Okay, <clears throat> god damn, I always have to clear my fucking throat every time I want to talk. You're also wanna gonna wanna gonna You're also